New Zealand looks small on the map, but in reality it's not small. Distance between cities are quite large. A car is definitely a must here. We chose a Toyota Hatchback Corolla for 12 days. $600 to hire and $600 fully comprehensive insurance. Petrol was quite expensive. Roads in the New Zealand are pretty good. Speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour. The scenery is spectacular to breathtaking. Sometimes you come across speedy buses and see unusual objects. It's a big Our first stop was Lake Tepeka. The Good Shepherd Church is one of the local attractions. The church is not old. It was built in 1935. Lake Tepico is located far from international airports, but still attracts tourists because of the dark sky reserve. You can enjoy stargazing at Mount John's Observatory. Prices start from $175. Tepico Springs are definitely worth a visit. $27 for an all day pass. We really enjoy visiting this place. Mount Cook National Park is about 100 kilometers from Lake Tepico. The highest peak in New Zealand is located here. Hooker Valley Track was highly recommended to us, so we took it on and we are so glad we did. It's a 10 km return walk. The lake at the end of the trail is surrounded by glaciers. The biggest buttercup flowers in the world grow here. Very refreshing. And after a long walk, it's fantastic to put it in the water. Absolutely. Yes, it's absolutely. absolutely. Is it cold? It's oh. cold, but it's refreshing. Fresh. It's refreshing. <laughs> Here is another national park, Mount Aspiring. It's the third largest in New Zealand. Lots of scenes from Lord of the Rings were shot in this park. We chose two tracks. The first one, the Blue Pools. Look how clear the water is, but beware of the sand flies. Hass Pass was our second track. It was 563 meters high, but it felt higher. The views are spectacular, well worth the walk. Wanika is a lovely country town located beside a lake. It is 220 kilometers from Lake Tikapa. We came to Wanika to visit Mount Aspiring National Park. We stayed here for three nights. We found that Wanika was the most expensive place on our trip. Nice place, but was a bit pricey. This tree is a landmark of Wanika. It's almost 80 years old, a symbol of survival. We're five kilometers away from Bonica at 11 the farm. It's a lovely farm with lots of animals. Entry fee is five dollars. We will look around and have a cup of tea with ice cream and then drive to Queenstown.
We made a stop at Arrowtown. It's like a stone's throw away from Queenstown, our last destination. Arrowtown is located on the banks of the Yarrow River. It was funded in 1862 in the height of the gold rush. We loved Queenstown. It's the most popular tourist destination in New Zealand. We are now in Queenstown. We are going to have lunch and after lunch we will take a gondola's ride to the top of Bob's Peak. We are in gondola and starting to climb. It costs $44 for a return trip. This is a must-do when in Queenstown. The views are spectacular. Here is the famous fur burger. We were told they make the best burgers in the world, and they certainly do. We would like to recommend Onsen Hot Pools. It's not far from Queenstown. A bit pricey at $126 an hour, but it's well worth it. The views are spectacular. This is the shot over river and you'll see jet boats running up and down the rapids. The jet boat was invented by a New Zealander William Hamilton in the 1950s. We love the botanical gardens in Queenstown. These are not Manuka honeybees. Manuka is a tea tree. The population of New Zealand is around about 4.5 million people, but the population of sheep is 30 million. Now that's a lot of sheep. We noticed heaps of ducks in New Zealand as well. This ship, the Enslow, is the same age as the Titanic. It was launched in October 1912. We chose a cruise with a gourmet barbecue lunch. It cost $129 per person. It also included a sheep shearing demonstration. The barbecue lunch we had was massive and it was beautiful. Milford Sound is the most popular tourist destination. It's one of the wettest places in the world. On average, it rains 182 days per year. 
Milford Sound is often compared to the eighth wonder of the world. Well, that is how a famous writer Richard Kipling described it. Let's go! It's quite a distance from Queenstown to Milford Sound. We stopped along the way at a small town called Tiano. It's 170 kilometers from Queenstown. From there, we travel on to Milford Sound, a further 240 kilometers. It's more than four hours one way. Lots of companies run tours to Milford Sounds. Check prices before booking as they differ. We chose Juicy, which cost us $150 each. Keep in mind the prices are usually higher. We travelled in the low season.